Welcome to this brief introduction to Canvas, a learning management system that we will be using at Mercy College of Ohio. When you first log on to your course, you'll see a home screen, which will contain announcements, a welcome message, course objectives, an introduction to your instructor, and a get started here area, which contains items that your instructor wants you to do when you first enter into the class. Before you do any of those things, you should go to your account link and go to notifications. This is an area where you'll set up your preferences on how you want to be contacted when there's any new news in the course. The announcements activity is one that should be checked to notify me right away or send a daily summary. Your choices for notifications on all of these activities are notify me right away, send daily summary, send weekly summary, or do not send me anything. And you can look through these various course activities and set your preferences, but we recommend at least a daily summary so you can stay on top of what's going on in the course. So after you set those up, you can go back to your courses link and click on your course. If you have several courses in Canvas, you will see those on cards in your dashboard and you can click on the appropriate course that you want to go to. For now, we'll go back to our example course and first thing you want to do is go to the getting started area and look at the first tasks that your instructor wants you to accomplish. Here there are links to our class resources area, a getting started area, the syllabus, and various modules. What we want to do before we do that is get you familiar with the links on the left hand side. And uh, there's a link for announcements, there's a link for the syllabus, there is a link for modules, and also other links for assignments, discussions, grades, people, quizzes, and chat that we will get into later. I want to go back to the home page and look at this particular example where the instructor has set up the class, first of all, to have some class resources, a module with getting started tasks, and also a special syllabus area. Now, one of the most important links in a class in Canvas is the modules link, and everything that you need for the course will be housed in the modules area. So this will be the area that you'll be going to most often as you work your way through the class. In the class resources module, you'll find various resources that you need throughout the semester that you might want to refer back to. The most important one being the syllabus. And if you click on the syllabus link, which you can either get to from the resources module or from the navigation on the left hand side, you can either download a copy of the syllabus or you can view a copy right here in the Canvas interface. So that's where the syllabus lives and if we go back to modules you'll see other items in class resources. A virtual office, a message about support and accessibility, course materials that are required for the class, and also class policies. So you can reference any of these items at any time and every one of these items with the exception of the virtual office is also found on the syllabus. So the syllabus is the first thing you want to look at when you get into your online course. Now, the way online courses are set up, there is a learning module for every week of the semester. And the learning modules typically will contain an introduction to the module. And the introduction will tell you uh, what you need to do, will have objectives for the module, and also specific instructions for the module. In many cases, there will be video lectures or other resources that your instructor would like you to access. For this particular module, being the first one, there first of all is a, a, a message to make sure you have all the materials for the class and also an instruction to watch the video lecture. To watch a video lecture in Canvas, you'll simply click on the lecture link and the lecture will come right up on the screen where you can view it. In addition to watching the lecture, the instructor is instructing you to read through the syllabus and then introduce yourself on a discussion board, take a syllabus quiz, and do some readings. So to get through to the next steps in a module, you can click the next button, and in this case, it'll take us to a discussion board 
This is the Introduce Yourself discussion board, and it's similar to many discussion boards that you'll see throughout your courses. Um, in this case, what you want to do is go ahead and read the prompt, and then you can go ahead and uh, type a reply following the instructions of your instructor, and you can go ahead and, and post that reply. So that's how a discussion board works. If we click Next, we'll go to the next item in Module 1, which was a syllabus quiz. Taking a quiz in Canvas is straightforward. You simply click on the Take Quiz button, and the quiz will begin. You can see if it's a timed quiz. In this case, it's 1 hour and 59 minutes. And this is a multiple choice. So you will simply read the question, make your selection, and move on to the next item until you're complete. So let's go ahead and submit. OK. If we go back to the first module where we were at before, we already went through the syllabus quiz. There's also a quiz for the reading in that particular module. So we can click on that. And again, it's a quiz link just like the syllabus quiz that we looked at in the previous step. All of your assignments can be accessed either through the modules or through the assignment link which is on the left-hand side of the page. So there's multiple ways to get to assignments, whether they're quizzes or discussion boards. You can see the discussions here, and also the discussions are housed within the module. So there's several ways to get to everything in the course. As we look at the class resources area, in addition to the syllabus, there's a virtual office. The virtual office is an area where you can post any questions you have about the class, anything you want to ask your instructor in a public forum. So again, remember this is a public forum. There is typically an email address if you want to contact your instructor on a one-on-one -on -one basis. But this area is for any questions you have about the course in general. And it's a nice forum so other students can read your questions. And hopefully you can help them out with any questions that they had as well. So that gives us a basic rundown of the Canvas system and how it works. If you have any questions about Canvas, you can ask your instructor. And your instructor can get you to the correct resource to answer your question. Thank you and have a great day.